everybody. Several hours has passed. I just had a second breakfast and got dressed. And now we're about to head out and go shopping because we both need a few things. And then we are going to my grandma's house for dinner and meet up with some of the family there. My family is all a little bit scattered and some are working. My brother's at school. So not everybody is in the same city. So yeah, we're gonna see whoever we can tonight. We just went shopping, it was so cold I couldn't take out my camera. We just grabbed a couple of things quickly, headed back to our hotel, and now we're on the way to my grandma's house. First, we're gonna stop and pick up Carly, but we rented this car, it's really nice, brand new, and we are just on the QEW, pretty much going straight to grandma's. And it's Elbow Son's first time driving in Canada. He drove in Paris, so he's driven on this side of the road before, but never in Canada. And I was just saying to him, this is so weird. I never thought I would be in my home country <laughs> getting driven by my Hong Kong boyfriend. <laughs> it's just so weird. <laughs> How do you feel? nothing yesterday so I'm sorry for that we we just went and picked up Carly and went to my grandma's house my sister Alex met us there and the kids Carly's very pregnant my grandfather's been in and out of the hospital so we basically just sat down and caught up and chilled and we ate Swish LA and that was it I was falling asleep half the time and, and I passed it as soon as we got back to the hotel in Toronto but uh, now we are on the way to get Nana Banana. We're taking her out for lunch. And then the wedding rehearsal is tonight, so I'll head back to Toronto for that. This morning I was editing and I just uploaded the Hype Bay BTS video. I will link it below if you haven't seen it yet. But also I think by the time this video comes out, you guys will have seen my Hype Beast interview. If you haven't, I will link that below as well. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna enter some of the insert i'm gonna insert some of the footage now from that shooting i'm shooting this on my phone now because my camera's dead but now we're shooting hype beast Basically, yeah, my Nana basically likes burgers, pizza, pasta, chicken wings, and that's it. So those are going to be our choices. We'll see what she wants. Where are we going? Well, I don't know. What do you feel what like? What do you feel like eating? Mm, anything. What do you feel like? Oh, anything. <laughs> I don't know many places. Anything really? Salad? Do you want salad? I can take you to a place that I used to go every day before. Okay. But it's not fancy, but the food is delicious. Okay, that sounds you good. You shove that camera up here. Do you like cabbage soup? Because anything is good. Or you can look up there, a lot of special. What'd you get? <laughs> get out of here. <laughs>
this hair I've got going on from yesterday. It's still like teased, but I'll just throw that part in the back. Good morning, everybody. I just had a good workout, which I couldn't film because there was too many people and things just got awkward. Um, but I did do it and it was a good one. <laughs> My knees are really hurting today though. Like. I feel like I, I know exactly why I know the point in the night where it really like Things just went wrong. I was a dancing queen last night. Actually, not really I just danced for like a few songs But when the cha-cha slide comes on I always have to enter the dance floor Take it back And the point where you go low, how low can you go? I tried to go pretty low and I definitely ruined my knee. I'm getting way too old for that. Um, but uh, it was worth it. And today when I was trying to do squats, it kind of hurt. So I kind of just stopped and stretched it out and did some other stuff. Now I'm eating a green apple and a green juice because I've had the worst diet and no exercise these past two weeks. I've been super busy and uh, just not caring about what I eat. I always do this. I always get like super healthy, go to the gym, or I don't care and I don't go to the gym and then my diet just goes downhill. It's like one extreme to the other. Today I want pizza though, so I'm gonna kinda like, the morning's gonna be healthy and then I don't know what's gonna happen later. Cause we're at a hotel that's kinda near my favorite place in my favorite pizza place in Toronto called Liberato. Lib Lib we'll see when we get there. Something with a Liberia. It's not Liberia though. I'm going to Paris tomorrow and I had to pack my suitcase like a week ago. And when I checked the weather, it was like around 12, I'm pretty sure. But now when I just checked the weather, it's like negative three. It's a low of negative three, a high of like five. So it's basically a l just slightly colder than Canada. And I packed mostly spring stuff for this trip. And also I finally got the schedule and it's a lot busier than I thought it was gonna be. And I need a couple more outfits because basically I just packed sweatpants. I, I packed my like Canadian uniform. This is what I got. I've got sweatpants. And then I've got like slightly nicer legging sweatpants from Victoria's Secret. And then, if you want to go up another level, I got even nicer sweatpants from Lululemon. And then I've just got a lot of sweaters and hoodies. And then, like, stuff I wore to the wedding, their wedding rehearsal night. But yeah, my best friend got married yesterday. That's crazy. I'm going to make a whole nother video on that. But I think that's going to take me a while to edit. Because I kind of want to make it more of a story, maybe. I have to go through a lot of footage, too. Um, so yeah, but... It was really, really, it was a really nice wedding. There is so many cultures involved and um, I got to see a lot of things that I've never seen before at a wedding. Like there's obviously different wedding customs for different cultures, so that was really cool. <laughs> She looked beautiful. She was so happy. It was so good to see her family and her extended family because a lot of them I haven't seen since I was like 13 maybe. But yeah, it was such a good night. We got home pretty late, like midnight. And then we just woke up, went to the gym. And now I am going to finish this, take my shower, but I'm not gonna wash this hair because this is too nice. I'm gonna try and brush this part out though. But I'm gonna take a shower and get dressed and we're gonna go shopping. I think we're gonna head to Queen Street because Alyssa recommended me a shop there called this. And I'm gonna go and see that and then we'll see what else we get up to. I just wanna have a really chill day. Just went into the cutest store ever for like how long? 30 minutes. My battery just died, but I was in there for about an hour, he said. And the girls are all so nice and so cute. I'm definitely gonna go back every time I come here now, but yeah. I got a bunch of stuff that I can hopefully wear in Paris. Either way, I got more sweatpants though because they were so cute. I'm gonna show you guys later. But we're gonna continue shopping on Queen Street because there's so many small boutiques and cafes here, and it's just an amazing place to be, especially on this gorgeous 
day, this gorgeous Sunday. Look at the CN Towers there. There's a ping pong table in this Lululemon shop. This sort of grass thing. And then there's a shop. How cool is that? I got more, more sweatpants, but they're so cute. They're camouflage, but like a light gray and white. I love these colors. Well, they're not really colors, tones. This is my jacket. Like an oversized military style jacket with these little ball ball things. And these, they're like fake leather leggings, but then they have these details on the knees. And the back is, I don't know what this material is, but it's like regular black pants. So it's like half and half. It looks pretty cool. This hat. Camo sneaker shoes. So they're like half boot, half sneaker. I don't know how to explain them. Well, I guess I don't need to explain them because you can see them, huh? My face dirty. Where don't mind if I have pizza all over my face. What? Where is your pizza sense now? Taylor can't come to the phone right now because she's dead. The pizza was so delicious. I love that place. They make the best gluten-free crust ever. If you're in Toronto and you want that, they make amazing regular crust too. I think it's the best pizza place in Toronto. Um, and now we are back in the hotel. Guys, I'm back at the airport. I'm sorry, this has been such a messy vlog. Last night I got home. And at six o'clock, I was like, I'm gonna nap for like an hour, two hours maximum, then I'm gonna wake up and edit and do other stuff. But I ended up sleeping right through until five o'clock this morning when I got up, edited, went to the gym, got ready. Um, we did, we had to do a bit of errands and now I'm back at the airport and I'm heading to France. So I'm gonna end this vlog here and the next video will pick up from here but thank you so much for watching i'm sorry it was such a mess of a vlog i think i just filmed my mornings every day but uh yeah i will see you guys soon